Hi there, and welcome back to the Trade Heroes website. We want to just run through briefly some, give you some ideas about how much your staff should be making you. Because the reason why you're in business is to have leverage. You want to be earning more, and the way to earn more is with employees. So the more employees you have, the more you're going to make. So long as, and this is the key, key thing, so long as your staff are earning you a multiple of what you're paying them. So I'm Jeff, the resident business doctor here at Trade Heroes, and this example I've got behind me here is the three times rule. Now the three times rule doesn't have to be three. It can be two, it can be four, it can be five times. You can pay whatever you like, but in this example here, we're gonna say three times, and we're gonna assume that we're paying our staff member $100,000. So we've got a wages bill of $100,000. So naturally, we wanna have the base and super as 100, and we times that, in this example, by three, but it could be anything. So that means that three times $100,000 means that that employee, for their labor, needs to be generating you as the business owner $300,000 in gross revenue. Now, there obviously will be some expenses there, but $300,000. Now, where does that money go, you might be asking? Well, as your business grows and you put on more staff, you're probably gonna to need to buy another vehicle to accommodate that employee. And you may even need to put on a bookkeeper, you may need to pay your account a little bit more because you're doing more business, you may even need to take on premises or stock or warehousing. So we're gonna to need to add this thing here on, and that's called another $100,000 here, is for your overheads. And as your business grows, so too does your overheads. Now, we wanna add that and take that away from there, but the most important part of that $300,000 is why you started in your business in the first place. So this $100,000 here, which I'm putting in red because it's really important to you, this here is your $100,000 profit. So the reason why you have staff is to make you money. So the typical story that I tell most employees when they're coming and joining my company is saying, g'day George or Simon or Peter or Mary, the reason why I'm employing you is for three reasons. You're here to make me money and do things that I can't do. To do things that I don't want to do. And the third reason, well there really isn't a third reason. The reason why you're employing staff is to make you money and give you leverage and get you off the tools. So in this example here, you pay them $100,000, you multiply that by that factor of three. Now, the other thing you may want to be considering is what happens if, we, if they're achieving their $300,000? Great question. So if they're achieving their $300,000, they don't get anything more. But let's say they earn $100,000 extra and they're earning $400,000. So now they've got an extra $100,000, which makes them at $400,000 revenue that they're bringing into the company. So that $400,000, we need to be rewarding some of the staff for that extra effort that they're doing. So we'd be saying to them, if you generate an extra over your budget of $300,000, we will give you one third of that, or 33.33% of that amount of money that you're generating for the company. Now look at it from the employee's perspective. You're now the boss of this company and you're rewarding them. This is not overtime. They're generating now extra money for you. So that extra $33,000 that they're gonna get as a commission is an extra $33,000 on top of their salary. So that's now $133,000 that your employee's getting. That's a 30% pay rise. And it happens, and oh, we forgot the best part. If we're paying this guy here 33% of that, where is the other 66% going? That's going in your pocket. Here at Trade Heroes, we're here to help you grow your business. Stick around, there's lots more help to come.